Hello everyone. Today uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, probably the least popular, uh, biggest failure computer systems ever made, um, and that's called the Aquarius by Mattel. And Aquarius was supposed to be, I believe, probably like a step up from uh, the Intellivision system because it is kind of the, some of the controllers look like it's from Intellivision, but uh, basically they were trying to get into the computer market and really was not very successful. So uh, we're going to take a look inside this box. Um, I acquired this in an abandoned storage locker, like so many things that I have that are around my house too. And uh, we're going to see what's inside here. It says it's a complete set. It weighs um, about 25, 25 or 30 pounds, the whole box. and. So hopefully everything's inside there. So we take a look and see what we got. So it says complete system and including the printer too. So I can't wait to see what that looks like. So, okay, we got directions. That's always good. Okay, oh, here's the uh, memory card. I heard that this is very important to have um, from the research that I've done on this. And here is the, here's a game for, oh, this is a home budgeting system. If you don't like uh, Excel, you can use that. And here's the video wire. Here is the brain, I think. No, this is the data recorder. Um, before they had things like hard disks, floppy disks, you would actually put everything on a cassette tape. So you could create a program on here hit record, it would record the information on there, then you would play it back. So this is the tape recorder, basically, this is a data recorder. Basically, you pop a cassette in there, and you would um, load your information or save your information. So we'll put that in there. Uh, oh, and it comes with a cassette. Ah, oh, there you go. We'll need that. If I'm saving any programs on here. Okay, here's the main uh, brains of the whole thing right here. Is the um, I hope it shows you at the front <laughs> the uh, home computer system. It looks like it's in really good shape. It looks like it's been um, hardly even used. Or anything. So let's see what we got inside. Here. Well, if it was used. They put everything back together in here very nice. Okay, so here's the keyboard. And the keyboard is also the computer too, so everything is right inside of here. And one of the downfalls of this was, was this keyboard actually. Um, it's kind of like a rubbery feel keyboard, and I can't imagine trying to like type a letter or something on this, or even program it. It would take it would really be annoying. And plus the return key is way down here on the bottom row. It's supposed to be up here. And then if you wanted to plug in a game cartridge, you would take this part off here. And this is where all the accessories would go. You'd plug them in right into here. I just decided to these overlays too. And the overlays, this was used for um, programming in uh, basic, the old basic language here too. So you put this right over the top here, and then you'd have some keyboard shortcuts. There's a go-to, then, if, list, all the basic commands. All right, so I'm going to put this one aside here. And then we'll show you everything later on. We'll get it all set up nice for you. Something. Well, they are very generous with the cassettes. This, these people were going to do something here. <laughs> Um, yeah, just a bunch of Sony cassette tapes, so they're ready to, for some programming. Alright, oh, there's another one. <laughs> I wonder how much the cassettes are worth on there. <laughs> Here is Night Stalker game. Here's what one of the game cartridges look like. You can see they're kind of clunky looking. They're kind of an odd shape to them. Because when you would plug them into the system, they would it would kind of match the contour of the whole thing. And it comes with these little overlays here that go on the on the game controller. 
so that when you would wanted to use it, you would just put the overlay on it. You can see which direction the, the buttons are supposed to be going and everything. So here comes the directions and all. All right. There it is. This is a file management system. It must be a. Well, I don't even know what's in there. We'll have to find out what's going to be inside there. It probably should be a cartridge. Something tells me this thing has never been opened. <laughs> Yeah, there's a cartridge in there and the user's guide and one of these templates that you would put on the keyboard so you can see where all the keyboard shortcuts are. And here is, I believe this is the cable for the printer <laughs> and the other accessories and the tape recorder. Here's another cartridge, uh, Deadly Discs from Tron. Yeah, well, Tron. Remember Tron? Yeah. Uh, this is the thing that's supposed to make it uh, much more usable. Um, it allows you to plug in these game controllers here. It's an expansion system. So you plug this in where the cartridges would go, and then you could have these controllers to play games which ironically look worse than the Intellivision games even though Mattel made them they made a computer and things look worse so I'm not really sure what they were going for here when they created this thing so this is the last one this looks like it this is the printer now this is the thing that interests me the most was the printer it's uh, supposed to be a thermal it's a, it's a thermal printer which means that it heats up the uh, the printhead heats up and it kind of basically burns the image on special thermal paper kind of like a receipt printer you might get at uh, some stores um, or uh, when you buy um, something with your credit card and you print out that little receipt that you can never quite write on that's what the thermal printer is right there so uh, that's what's inside of the box there's this little piece of paper here. that's the only thing that's left so we'll lay everything out here so you see everything all at once. And then um, we're going to list it on eBay and see what kind of price we can get for this thing. Okay, so here's everything that we have. So we have some games here. We have Night Stalker. And you know, everything doesn't look as cool as the package. It's going to be like a bunch of blocks and stuff. But anyway, you got Night Stalker, Tron Deadly Discs, the expansion uh, memory, the 60K memory, all the directions and manuals, um, two productivity kinds of programs. One is file form, and this one's called fin form, or fine form. The actual computer itself, the Aquarius, the expansion module. The expansion module, you see it looks like a game here. It's going to plug into where you would normally plug in the games over here. So there's the expansion module, the uh, thermal printer, the data recorder with some cassette tapes and all the wires that go with it as well. So if you if you uh, know anything about this uh, computer and you want to go ahead and throw some comments in there, that'd be awesome. Um, I only know what I've been able to just find online. Maybe you know something more than I do. But uh, this is, came out of a storage locker, so it's going to be a, a big um, big profit because I didn't pay that much for the locker itself, but it had all kinds of electronics and things like that, and vintage electronics and um, meters and electrical parts and things like that. So we've already made some money on that one, but uh, this is going to really help out quite a bit. Uh, from what I've been able to find out on eBay, this thing will probably go in the $250, $300 range as it is, but it could go more. We'll have to see. I'm going to do some more research and find out. But uh, thanks again for watching, everyone. And I said, if you have any comments, you know anything about this thing, feel free to put them in the comments.